Oh man, well we're doing we're trying to accomplish a lot. Uh, I think the first thing we're talking to the guys about is is, is their eating habits. You know, really trying to change their eating habits. Uh, and I think we're doing a the, the guys are doing a great job of really uh, cutting down on the things that aren't so so good for you. And we're educating them on the things that are. And I think it's going really well. Uh, so they they're doing their their workouts in the weight room, um, and then they're also doing some cardio work uh, with our strength coach. Uh, they're taking classes. Uh, it's great because they take one or two courses in the summertime, and I think they can kind of focus on those on those classes that they're that they're taking. And they also have have um, we have we're allowed to work these guys out now two hours a week. The NCAA has has uh, allowed us to do that, so we're working them out in individual workouts as we did in the springtime. And and I thought we had a fantastic week. That this week was the first week we did it. I thought it was fantastic. So the guys are really really busy doing a lot of different things, um, but it's a, also a fun time because there's some downtime too. Oh, Jake's looking better and better. Uh, we started working him out in the springtime, um, little by little. Uh, he's gotten to the point now where he's going five days a week. Um, his foot looks great. I mean, he's playing better and better. Um, you know, I'm looking for, you know, I think he really expects to have a great year, and I'm hoping he does. He's, uh, he's uh, suffered so much with that injury and being out for so long. Uh, I think he's just happy being back on the court and trying to get better every day. But, yeah, he looks really good. We're very fortunate, you know, we're looking for, for kids that, that have high character from good families that are tough, skilled, uh, intelligent basketball players and I think we've found four gems uh, in this class and uh, we were recognized at ESPN which was, which was great, uh, headlined by Nate Dudenay from Kentucky who was Gatorade State Player of the Year, uh, his team won the state championship, he was instrumental in their climb to winning the, the whole thing, uh, terrific player, uh, great athlete. Uh, really shoots it well, uh, really competitive kid, takes charges, I mean, just does all the things that you'd want uh, your, your players to, to do. Uh, Maurice Watson, just everybody's favorite player, um, ESPN top 100 player. Uh, he was Parade All-American. I think he's third in scoring in the city of Philadelphia. This had so many great players in Philadelphia, but just a, just a floor general, throwback, uh, intelligent kid, makes great decisions. And just loves. He stays in the gym. Was coached by his father, uh, who was a wonderful coach, and uh, you know, just a, a terrific point guard. John Papali, uh, who was a sharpshooter from Connecticut, um, was recruited by a ton of schools in Atlantic Ten, the Colonial League, and and, and chose to come to BU. Uh, and it's going to be a great player for us as well. Um, and then Justin Austin is a terrific player. Um, from Maryland, uh, is actually coached by uh, Reggie Williams, who played at Georgetown, and uh, has all the attributes of a guy who I think is going to have a great career uh, as well. So it's a terrific class, and I'm just really excited uh, about them as as people as well as as players. Well, hopefully, it continues to generate. You know, you want to have kind of a buzz about your program. Hopefully it continues to generate that kind of buzz where, where people recognize that, that BU is a prominent basketball program uh, in the country, uh, not just in the, in the America East. And, and that's kind of what we're, we're trying to do. So hopefully the class will continue to do that. But you know as well as I do, it comes, it comes about once they hit that court and, and what they do once they get here. But certainly we're happy with our class and very satisfied with the, you know, the type of people that we've been able to attract to, to BU. The character of, of each guy that we're bringing in is pretty good. I think they're all team guys. You know, that's something that, we, that we're looking for when we're out recruiting. So I think they do have the notion of, you know, let me go make BU a better program by being part of it instead of being the guy. Uh, I think each guy wants to add and help us uh, in, 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 in the way that they, they know how that they, that they can. So that's, that's a huge thing. The type of kid that we're bringing in, I think, understands that it's more about the program and the family and, and, and the team than it is about them, that that's bigger than, than they are, um, and they want to be a part of that. And so that's a, that's a big deal. And then also the guys that we have in our program, they have to hurt, help nurture these guys and help, help these guys make good decisions both on and off the court. And I think we have pretty good leadership and, and a guy like Jake O'Brien who's been here for a long time, Don Morris now is gonna be a junior, Travis Robinson is gonna be a junior, you got DJ who's gonna be a junior. So you got some guys around that will help nurture these guys uh, as they go through. Cause those are the guys also, they gotta keep these guys in line.
I think all four guys that I mentioned, Jake, Dom, Travis, and DJ, have to have a hand and in the leadership. I don't think one of these guys is going to do it on their own. I think all four of them really have to be guys. When we talk about elevating their personalities, uh, having a bigger effect on what's going on on a consistent uh, basis in practice, uh, those are those are guys that we're going to have to lean on on a, on, a, on a regular basis. And I think they have to make each guy has the making of being a good leader in their in, in their part.